Hey guys, it's your girl It's Elise back again with another video. Today, I am telling you guys about my multiple story times of me as a DoorDash driver. Feel free to leave a comment if you like this video or recommendations of other videos you like to see from me. And yeah, let's get into these story times. Example number one, there's always some orders that I get where I have to take the order to a house that's on the side of the road, which isn't really ideal for me as a driver because a lot of times you can't see the number on the mailbox or the person doesn't have a mailbox. So it's like, it's really a lot, it's a lot. We're like in a rural suburban area. It's like one of those areas where you get suburban, house, 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 then you get to rural, country, country, strong. Then you get to suburban, suburban, again. That was my case. <sighs> I knew it was gonna be a house on the side of the road when I was getting closer to that house because literally the directions was like, yeah, turn on Jersey Mike Street and then the destination will be on your left. And I saw there was a row of houses that was on the side of the road on Jersey Mike Street. So I was like, <sighs> pretend I'm driving, you know, I'm like going a little like Vin Diesel. Like I'm still trying to maintain the speed limit, but I'm like looking on the side. I'm like, mind you, the number of the house I'm looking for is 707. So I'm like, 703, not it. 702, not it. 700, where's 701? Not it. 705, the numbers were starting to get very um suspect. Next thing you know it, I'm making it to 712, and I'm like, I'm supposed to be at 707. Where, where is 707? And I was like, okay, I already passed the segment of the houses on the road that I, that's supposed to be, one of them is supposed to be 707. So I turn all the way back around again. I do a UE in the parking lot, go back the same road again. And I was like, that's it. We're playing, we're playing any mean money mode. Whatever house I decide to park in front of that, let's just hope it's 707. If it's not, I'm walking to one of the houses near it, see if I can find the number on it. I ended up pulling up to this white house. It was like creaky and old and very country strong. So I was like, yeah, 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 I need to get out of here. Realized it was a 707. So then I called the customer. I was like, hi, Jacob. It's really hard for me to find your house. Like help a sister out. And he was like, yeah, it's just the big yellow house across the street from the church. I looked on my left and I was like, big yellow house. That's, that's a big yellow house. Church. Oh, I passed that house like 500 times i was like you're 707 then i came up to this house he has some like some weird dragonflies flying around they're all striped and stuff i was like i'm in the country i have got to go as soon as you get to a place where you don't recognize the insects that's how you know you have crossed your border you have crossed your boundary not kansas anymore i was like i got to go i've got to go yeah he gave me a nice cash tip. He was like, yeah, thank you, da, da, da. I was like, uh-huh. I went back to my car and I was like, Luna, we gotta book it. I got in my car and here's the thing. The way I part, you know, if I back up, it can't be too far enough. I'm backing up into a two-way road. There's cars coming at me both ways. So I'm over here like, I gotta wait till like the street's clear. So, you know, I'm looking, I'm like, ha, huh, street clear, ha, huh, ha, huh, street clear, ha, <laughs> ha. Luna, we can go. That's what I thought. Soon as I put my car in reverse, and then I reverse, reverse, blah, 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 I see cars coming both ways. I'm like, oh shoot, reverse, reverse, blah, blah, blah. So like, I'm like getting Vin Diesel, Paul Walker. We about to F something up. So then I booked it, I said, Roo, let's go. So I whipped it around, we're on the road again, then we're out. That's all one order. Did I say that? This is all one order? Can you like really, I'm, Next order. <laughs> this happens like twice in my history of DoorDash driving, which is like a couple months now. I'm in that area where, you know, times are rough, okay? I get it, all right? I get it. Homeless people, like I hard out here, especially with the virus, I get it. But I have had older homeless men try to come at me. You see this window? Beautiful, right? Nice, clear, you can see everything. This homeless man, mind you, I did not see who he was until he came up to here. I said, oh shit. I was in the chili parking lot. I was waiting for an order. I was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. You have to wait till the person comes out with the order and be like, hey, what's your order? They'd be like, da, 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 da. They'd be like, okay, I'll go get that. And I'm like, okay, thank you. I just happened to look at my rear view mirror. I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Who's that? I see this dark figure like moving from behind my car and I'm like, what? Then I see this person about to come up. I said, no, 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 no. I had that nice little arm workout, wind up window. So I'm like, no, 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 no. He's like, miss. I said, excuse me, sir. 
I told you not a cup of the window, like, no. Okay, I don't think people realize, you know, when the older man is like coming up on a young woman like that, that's triggering. My taser is right here. Brother better be lucky I just rolled up my window and not been like, you got a problem, like, this didn't happen in my car. I was getting a Panera Bread order and there's this old man, he was walking. I was like, this is, this can go two ways. Either he's going to mess with me, which that's like 99.99% of the time. Or two, he's just gonna keep it moving, keep it pushing, see that I don't play. So I got in my car and mind you, I was not in it this time of day. I was tired. I just wanna get this order done with. So then here he comes. So I'll be like, hey miss, hey man. He actually almost tried to come to my car. I said, hold up, don't you touch Luna. Don't you touch Luna. Don't you touch Luna. That's my baby. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, nah, cuz, nah. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. I kept it moving. I was like, we don't got time for this. We, it's, I've got time for this, cuz. So then next order, I had another Panera Bread order. Um, You know, I went happy pappy, pulled up in the parking lot. And, you know, I got out and like, you know, went to Panera Bread. And I'll be like, hey, like, I need order for da-da-da-da. I just get a little sense in the air of there's gonna be something wrong with this order. Because number one, the cashier girl, she's making the face of like, after she looked in the system and after she looked around to see if the order was ready, she was like, I'm gonna have to like the head scratching like i'm not sure how to approach this i'm like there's something wrong with the order <laughs> i knew it because then she got her manager and the manager she was passionate about this order it's like i was at a presidential election you passionate baby she was like what order she was talking to the to the co the girl co-worker somebody came for this order before and then she turned at me she's like somebody came for this order already it's like oh really yeah, like we had this order before. I don't understand. Like she's talking to the computer. She like me and the girl and then me. Point at the computer. It came a day before. I don't understand what's going on. I literally said gently with my nice soft spoken voice. I was like, my apologies. She was like, oh. she realized she was doing the most. She's like, no, I'm just saying like, you know, like we don't, we don't understand. I, this order doesn't exist. I was like, I was just like, I'll just call the customer, just double check with them and all that. I didn't end up going back to the store because I just left a, a voicemail to the customer. They didn't get back to me. So I was just like, ah. So you have an option door to get to those type of situations. You have the option to let go of the order. So that's what I did. And mind you, there was nothing listed under it. Like there was no items like, oh, I want chicken noodle soup with the salt on the side. It said nothing. It said this is requested by the merchandiser. Thanks for watching. Get this video to 20 likes if you want to see a part two. That is a wrap on it's Elise, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.